Hey fellas, Becky Day here at YouTube. Okay guys, it's uh, 11 o'clock my time here in Ohio. I just got off work. I uh, sat down and relaxed about 10 minutes before making this video. Uh, this evening's video for this uh, late Friday evening is going to be in uh, inbox a review of the Trumpler 135th scale Boyd Chinook. And uh, so this is going to be my next build. So I'm going to go ahead and make a build series on this YouTube here. Uh, before I've been kind of bypassing YouTube and facing everything on Facebook. But right now this kit deserves the best people in the world. All my beautiful brothers out there in, in YouTube land. So this model is going to be a, it's going to be a build and get my, my builds back in order again. And uh, so this is going to be an inbox review of this Mighty Trumpler kit. This is going to be a big boy, fellas. I open this thing up. I mean, the fuselage is probably about like that. About 20 inches, 22 inches. I don't know, about 22 inches. You'll see it if you take a look at the at the, the, the review of this kit. Again, this is going to be a fast build. There's so much you can be done to this. It depends on how much... It's like all builds in general, fellas. You know, it's depends on how much you want to put into it. If you really want to go out with photo etch and add a lot of details to it, there's a lot of... Reference out there that they'll uh, that'll assist you on uh, making this thing as realistic as possible. Uh, I've been reviewing the kit pretty much myself. I like what I see and I like what I bought. This makes the ultimate uh, chopper for my chopper madness outside my 124 scale Huey gun chip. And uh, so uh, right here, uh, this is the A model and. Uh, and the box top sure takes me back to Vietnam days. There's some green out there in your rice paddies and a lot of rivers out there. And uh, it was a beautiful country at one time. It still is. Okay, guys, uh, right now, enough said. We're going to take this camera and go swing it around. We're going to make a inbox review of this and finish up the video. So uh, right now, I know this camera's friendly and so am I. Uh, right here, fellas, I'll zoom in a little bit more here so we get that. Uh, that's good right there. It's hard to judge this little monitor I have on this camera right here, fellas, uh, opposed to looking on YouTube. I get uh, my videos are uploaded. It seems like this distance here seems like it's far away from the small monitor I have, but when it's well below it, it's, it's big, you know, so as long as it gets this in, in, uh, in, in within format and also within uh, the range of the uh, of my lens on my uh, camera, my LED screen. Okay, guys, here it is right here. Uh, this is the second time I showed this. First time I showed it to you when I was building the chopper. So this is Boeing Chinook. It comes in a big, huge box. I'd say this thing is probably, box size is about 21 inches. by 12 and a half inches and uh, four and a quarter inches deep so it's a big big uh, box and a big big model okay guys we're going to remove the uh, the box top of this and we'll take a look at the uh, the contents of the kit and review okay for starters guys um, yeah here we go for starters, right here, the fuselage sections come inside this box. There's two, there's two halves that make the fuselage section, so it's four in total. And right here, it comes this little boxing right here. It, it uh, for shipping purposes only. So it gives you a pretty good idea how big this chopper is. So we're gonna take this thing out. I'm gonna take one out just for an example. As a sample piece for the review of this kit, and uh, the other one we'll leave in there because they don't simply take both of these out. Okay, I put this to the side here and uh, put it back in the kit when we get done. Okay, guys, as you look right here, it shows you the, the, the parts, uh, the part list on the uh, I know we did that. Just tells you, just shows you uh, how big the chopper really is and everything. More or less, just a design feature on here. And right here is the fuselage sections here. Like I said, fellas, it comes with two halves. Now this is big. 
This goes like the, it's like my glow masters tongue and groove. So like right, right now, fellas, uh, what you need to do is take your sanding board and sand all this down the leading edge right here. This is where the tongue's at. This is the feet. This is the nail, which is exerted on the forward section here, fuselage, to get it real tight flesh fit. So that's that. that so that seam is pretty much in unison with the with the uh, with the scribed uh, paneling on here. That will then make the putty. So you need to take as a nice, board, nice little sanding board like this, and make sure it's nice and nice and smooth, straight. No sanding with the fingers. One who sands with fingers leaves the mark of an amateur. So always use a nice straight filing board. Then you just test fit your pieces before you sit it together. Now look at that, guys. That's tight. That's real tight right there, and I'm satisfied that that that'll leave no putty right there at all. That's nice. I'm pretty happy with that. So anyway, in the beginning of the inbox review of this mighty Chinook 135 scale, uh, there's there's two sections that make the fuselage. You got the rear section here and the forward section. What's that over here? Also, uh, oh yeah, I don't want to jump the gun too quick, fellas. Now inside the carrier in here, we'll zoom a little closer here. You can see the texture of the soundproofing of the uh, insulation inside the fuselage here, which is a pretty nice uh, touch right there. And up in here, these little tabs up here, you've got your, you have your, uh, your, your top, uh, top root, top roof of your, of the chopper which probably has your lights on there and stuff and wiring and such. And the bottom here, you got a floorboard that fits across here. And you got your fingers, which is 135 scale, which is big. So you can see the fidelity of detail on this thing. And also on the rear section of the chopper here, it's all ribbed right here, which is extra detail. They get the same texture right here. as like that of the main fuselage section. So right here, I see a lot of washers that can be applied there. And of course, you got your Trumper logos on here and everything, and when it was produced and everything. China 135 scale. I'll put that over here in the side, guys. Get it out of the way. And I'll take the fuselage section here, which is the same thing as the one I just showed you. Get out of the way here, fellas. Now, right here, we'll back off of the camera a little bit so we so you can see what I'm doing right here, because I'll try to make a a good review with this. And uh, right here, there's a piece of cardboard here, which is the top section of the uh, of the box, which separates the fuselage from the sprues. Okay, right here, fellas, you got a baggie right here. This baggie consists of one sprue each. Uh, right here is you got your your floorboard right here. This is where your, all your ties down for your cargo and also for your personnel. It's all ribbed. I see a lot of washes right here through chromate green and a little aluminum on there. And uh, probably dark gray probably. I, I've been aboard a, a Chinook and I think the interior was uh, like aircraft gray. And you got the top. At this top of your fuselage right here. This is the top plate right here with the ceiling, the overhead. And uh, it, it ha that too has that that soundproofing insulation on there, on top of there. And you got your bulkheads right here, which fits in this section right here. And of course, this is all the fuselage parts here. There's not much to this kit, guys. So what I can see in the sprues, this is the second time I'm looking at the kit. I'm pretty happy with what I, what I bought here. And uh, this is going to make a fun, relaxing build. It's big enough that you really can put your all into it. So I already made a decision. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, go down to the hobby shop and buy some 135 scale figures. Hopefully it can be the Vietnam vintage, which I'm quite sure that they have them there. It's at Smithy's Hobby Shop or Hobby Town USA. And uh, once I get the fit, once I get the uh, uh, the figures for this thing, I'm gonna go ahead and design some kind of a, a diorama because I like to have this thing sitting on a diorama because it's uh, 
It's a beautiful looking chopper and uh, I think it deserves and needs an extra treat for it. For what I paid for it, I should go all the way out on it. On uh, the photo etch, they give me photo etch in the kit. And we'll see that as we go along. So anyway, fellas, this is the first sprue which concerns, which is in all the interior. You got your bulkhead here, which fits in the pilot compartment. And this is your regular, uh, this is your floorboard right here. Uh, your flight deck. And you got your overhead section fits on top of the fuselage and uh, that'd be that of there and uh, so look at that through there okay guys and sprue number two is all your clear parts this is all your portholes right here and to me apparently these are very nice <clears throat> very nice we take those tabs off there off the sprue trees fellas take a nice buffing file board buff, buff, buff it smooth and put five minutes of epoxy inside the uh, side there, and uh, go ahead and uh, go put these inside. So these got the masks on the outside. Maybe. You see how this construction, how how this thing is, goes together. I'm not quite sure this thing has got to be uh, done on the uh, inside. You put your masking on there when it's done before you prime the paint. Okay, put it on the side there. So, okay, the spring sprue number two. Uh, is your fairing that fits inside the lower hull of the fuselage where your undercarriage fits out here. I think your undercarriage fits here. And back here, I think this is your back ramp right here. This piece here. This fits on the aft end impedance of the fuselage where where it lowers where the troops can can board it and also a small tank or maybe a jeep will fit in there and uh, we'll turn around this way we've got another section that fits across here so these big old boulders right here fellas these are the lower fairings that fit on the side of the bottom side of the section of the fuselage where the other carriage is adjacent to okay that's screw number three uh, number four baggy you get two sprues in this one here so evidently this is probably interior details from part of your rotor system you get two sprues look like they're precisely the same thing which they are so you got two minute uh not minute you got two uh exact sprues in this little baggy here so that's four right there and number five, you got two more sprues in here. Looks like these are your rotor blades right here. You got your rotor blades, your undercarriage is sit your undercarriage right here. Your undercarriage fits right in there. And uh these here, I don't know what these fit at. It's like me that fit right on top of the fuselage. And where all these parts of the rotor fits in the rotor fairing, everything fits. There are also small pieces too. And these are all for your rotors right here. I have number six, baggie number six is the last baggie right here, fellas. Uh, this right here is uh, uncertain. It's part of the turbo motors they use in it, the Pratt and Whitney's. Um, and this section here looks like it fits on the top of the overhead. And this inside the interior and this right here looks like it'll fit aft where the uh, where your back of your cargo door fits at you and right here is top tops of your rotors and these are all your escape panels emergency panels and that concludes the screw. Like I say, fellas, not much to this kit as you can see. Now, here's the photo etch they give you. And uh, I imagine there's probably a lot more out there than what I got in my left hand right here. But for starters, which Andy ups the cost of the kit, they give me photo etch too. So that's a nice touch for this kit thus far. Let's set that in the side. Now, okay, guys, right here, you probably want to go inside this box right here. Well, I love how Comfort does these things. They just make sure everything is shipped just nice, you know. This little box right here consists of, I think it's white metal parts. Nope, yeah. White metal parts. Here's your tires, real rubber. 
real rubber. These rubber tires right here. They fit in your undercarriage. Right here in this baggie, outside those portholes right there, right here is your, your main uh, cockpit transparency. This thing fits on the nose. And I imagine all the nice area here is, oh, this thing beautiful for masking. Uh, you just mask this off and airbrush it. And the control panels right here too. As you see, this is, this is a nice kit, guys. Of course, you see the tires are race all rubber. And the other carriage, see like me, uh, the axles, yeah, all white metal. These are all white metal right here. Ice and shiny. Very well detailed too. It's a possibility I could prime those down to wash to it. Or maybe just leave them natural. I don't think I should go ahead and leave them natural. That seems like the thing to do. Okay, we'll put those back in this little box right here where it belongs. And uh, make sure it don't get uh, disturbed. And uh, take this box and put it back up again. This is going to be a fun uh, fun build, guys. I mean, I, I like Trumpers kits. They're, they're expensive. And the decals right here are excellent. I don't know if the cardiograph decals, but cardiograph, how you pronounce it. Let's see here. Those are all Chinese decals. Anyway, here's the decals here, fellas. And uh, the selection of uh, two different decals there for the Vietnam version, which is the United States Army. That's what I'll be using. So this is going to be the decals right here. They're going to be using for the kit itself. Goes here. And right here, guys, this is the color guide they give you. Trump always does this on the ships, airplanes, or whatever they produce in plastic. All these kits, they give you these little plastic color call-outs. Now, the paints they use right here is Gunzo Saniel. Mr. Color used. No Hombro, no Model Master, nothing but Gunzo Samuel, Mr. Color. And the both hobby shops I go to do not have those colors. So they can be superseded by using either Tamaya, Model Master, or Hombro. So the choice is mine. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to airbrush this thing all in drab. I'm going to add washes to it. Different shades of washes to bring out the uh, fidelity of of the age olive drab, like using different whites and, and such. So right here, the decals apply to these two models here. You got right here is uh, is Army Aviation Systems Command during 1966, which is during Vietnam. That's, they probably had a station down there at Hickam Field, Hawaii. They probably had them down there a lot. And right here's your regular Vietnam. A 1970, but even version of all of drab, and uh, all the Chinooks I've seen during Vietnam were all all of drab, and um, they carried a lot of personnel and also carried a lot of small armor too. They carried not very much. Okay, lastly, fellas, is the decals is, is the uh, instructions here. The instructions booklet form. There's uh, to complete this model. There's, there's precisely 38 steps to complete this kit from start to finish. Starting out with the uh, instructions right here, like all Trumper instructions, Reveal German instructions, Shania, you name it. Starts out with the old part list. Yeah, all the part lists. All these sprues are marked from A all the way up to K and L all through there and uh, so it tells you all the contents of you if you're stumped or buffaloed during the instructions of the construction this kit always go back to the parts they'll help you identify the parts you'll be needing uh, unfortunately all these parts are not numbered but the sprues are and uh, on this page here same thing to decals. You get some film right there, which goes on a, on your canopy, your flutter wedge parts, white metal parts, rubber tires, your transparency. We just seen this right right a couple minutes ago. Starting out with number one is uh, you got your fire hydrant and you got the you got the fire hydrant rack on there. These got call outs, aircraft gray. I was right. This thing is all gray outside. 